Well, hello everybody. Today we're looking at the Helio LX from Nemo Equipment. This is my pointer stick. Uh, from top to bottom we've got a uh, carry handle right here. It doesn't feel chintzy at all. It feels pretty good at quality. Um, the lid, it needs a little bit more texture around the, the top here because uh, it is a little difficult to get on there. They have a version of this now that is horizontal and this is not new. Um, the shower system, but I have seen them horizontally with feet on them and that that makes a lot more sense now It says that it will inflate in about 45 seconds There's not much to it. You open this valve on the top and you close the valve that's on the other side of it And then you step on the foot pump and there you're good to go We do have a handle on this side here So if you wanted to lay it down, I suppose you could uh, the shower head is it's very small uh, but it gets some good pressure once you've got it all once you've got it all pressurized. It's not too bad. You can see the bubbles are starting to appear here. Time for a time lapse. I just didn't have the lid on quite tight enough. It's about 15, 20 foot pumps and you're done, however long that takes you. It does stand up a little bit better when it's fully pressurized like that. Yeah, it's, see, it's not too bad. And we'll see how far it goes. See, you can see that's a pretty good distance. That's about, I don't know, four feet or so, and you will have to keep pressing on this, uh, but I'm just holding it down. We'll see how long it takes before the pressure starts to drop down here. Four feet, it's starting to creep back down toward three feet. But look at all the water coming out of this. It's it's not a huge shower head. It's fairly small. Um, but it's got a hook here for hanging on to the loop on the bag and it just hangs right there. Clip. Um, Give it a pause and spray again. It's still got some decent pressure in there. This would be good for a a shower um, if you are not too terribly concerned with how thorough your shower is. It's better as a hand washing station, if you ask me, just because the volume of water coming out is it's not a ton, um, but it's enough. You could take a shower with this. It would take some time. It only took a couple of pumps to get it back up to pressure, and we're already spraying out to the uh, pretty much the full distance again. This hose is a good six feet long, which is great. That was a good feature. It's about three quarters full and I had it completely full. Uh, but you can see the texture on this handle is a little bit, yeah, there's not much to it. There's a little bit of an edge there, but it is kind of difficult to get off of there. And you do have a retention strap right there so you don't lose your lid, which makes it an additional challenge to get it screwed on especially with this handle right here in your way. On this side you've got a valve that is clearly a one-way valve. It's got a uh, it's got a little stem here. It's got holes in there to take air in and when you step down the air goes in, can't come out. Uh, that's too easy. And then on this side you've got a drain. There is a little piece of foam in here. If you can see that right there. And that's uh, connected in line so that you've got some kind of filter in there. It does take a fair amount of foot pressure to do this. It'll, it'll warm up the water with this black bag. It will work for that and it will warm up the water. Uh, it's not made for potable water. And I wouldn't use it for that purpose. But it works great as a hand washing station or as a fire, uh, you know, to douse the fire at the end of the night or whatever, washing dishes and that kind of thing. It'll work fine for those things. Uh, as a shower, not not quite what I would want for a shower, uh, especially for a special needs situation. You're going to need more water pressure, some more heat to it, uh, without having to wait so long. But so far, this is one of the best things I've found. It doesn't fit every single bill, but very solid. Uh, doesn't feel super cheap at all. I don't remember how much it costs, uh, over $100 though, so 
we'll get some good use out of it. Now the packaging here, you can see that uh, it's got some very nice pictures on there. Uh, you've got very simple instructions, spray for 7 to 10 minutes, that's probably completely accurate. With occasional foot pumping, you know, so that, that's all true. Inside you've got some product care instructions. Um, it shows you how to pack it into the bag. It's just a little mesh bag with a drawstring, nothing special here. But, uh, anyway, that's the Helio LX um, from Nemo. Just so you know that that's a thing. If you want to give it a shot, give it a shot. Not a terrible product. One of the better ones. Uh, not quite perfect, but not bad.